Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video. What's going on? Megan with another YouTube video. Uh, so this is pretty much one little final video before midterm week starts. Uh, midterm week is going to probably take up most of my time. I got a bunch of big classes to study for. Uh, so I got to pretty much study before I can do anything else. And this is something that I just so happened to finish up kind of like right before uh, exams actually started. Uh, so what you're looking at is the Firefly 50 caliber precision sniper rifle. It is a five shot recoil mitigation sniper rifle. Uh, what do I mean by recoil mitigation? Now then what I mean by that is the barrel and the buffer tube in the uh, stock and a little bit behind the bolt actually minimizes the recoil so that it's very very low. Now then, this is some techn technology that you see in the Barrett M107A1, where the barrel moves back, and then the buffer tube technology comes from the um, AA12. If you go look at the AA12 in its stock, it also has recoil mitigation technology in it. And uh, I took both of those concepts and combined both of them together, pretty much, to form a very, very low recoil 50 caliber precision sniper rifle. Now then, this is a very cool looking rifle, very futuristic. It's got the tan black and gray accents, mostly tan composite furniture with the gray um, metal parts and then the black for the air vents and then just a little bit of detail on the scope where the uh, scope mounts and the red ring adjustments are. Um, so we're going to start with the stock and make our way forward. So, the first thing you might notice about the stock is how it's shaped. There's a bar down here at the bottom, and many of you are probably wondering why that's there. Now then, I was going to do an M4 styled stock originally, and then I figured that's kind of overdone a lot. So I just did this type of stock here, but didn't have the bar here. And a stock with just this and this is fairly weak to be shooting 50 BMG even with the recoil mitigation technology. So I figured I'd put this reinforcement strut down here and it turned out to look great. So I left it there and as you can see it's got kind of like a V shape going on to it. Uh, while we're back here the gray padding right here is uh, for your shoulder. It's where your shoulder rests. Uh, it's a rubber type padding. And it, um, it just helps absorb any of that extra leftover recoil. Um, as you can see, there is a reinforcement strut coming down here. And then you have the buffer tube, which has the recoil mitigation technology within it. Coming off the buffer tube down this curve into the pistol grip. Pretty standard uh, pistol grip. I was going to make the uh, model feature interchangeable pistol grips. So uh, don't worry about that. This one obviously doesn't look very ergonomic, but you can put your own on there, which is great. Uh, and it will fit with a certain uh, reinforcement strut that you just bolt on after a few modifications. Coming up into the trigger guard, we have a fairly basic trigger system. It just It's just that, pretty much. Uh, it just it works. Um, keep it simple, stupid, as my uh, father always put it, so... I just uh, keep it simple and it works and uh, if your rubber band breaks it's pretty easy to replace and you can still uh, squeeze the trigger just like a real one so the two gray circles that you see here are like just uh, bolt accents and then as you can see there are little kind of square ridges cut into it for uh, some more little accents uh, switching over to the side as you can see there's more on this side obviously I have more room on this side because there is no bolt and or charging handle. Speaking of the bolt and or charging handle, as you can see the charging handle actually has a very interesting shape to it. It's got a very very nice curve on it. Your finger would probably fit in there really well and it's this huge bulky bolt. As you can see it's uh, it will probably easily take that 50 round and uh, send it down range. No problems. Guarantee it. Oh, I actually forgot to Forgot to put a little strip in here underneath this little ridge. Um, this one is rubber band available. 
So as you can see in here we have a place for rubber bands to go so that you could obviously sorry if I'm moving the camera I actually have to use the camera to see what I'm doing so as you can see you can obviously put the uh, rubber bands in there and that'll help you out when it comes to uh, the bolt actually working like it should uh, the barrel in this model actually doesn't move like my M107 sniper rifle kind of unfortunate but with this type of forend it has to be like that so you're gonna have to bear with me guys uh, up on top of the upper receiver you have a rail system which is mounted to a variable zoom scope with red ring adjustments and as you can see inside the scope itself there's actual panes of glass that are clear colored and there's two of them you can see one here and then the second one here and same thing with the uh, back over there and the reason is for that is just to make it a little bit more realistic um, I liked it and I kept it uh, scope mounts pretty simple red ring adjustments uh, one of them is your zoom and then one of them is your up and down and then one of them is your side to side to adjust for windage and elevation I believe uh, as you can see the scope is a really nice design I love the design on the scope uh, it's just one of my best so far and it's huge it makes it it matches the rifle perfect because the rifle is just absolutely huge as well and then it, it just it looks great on this model coming back down to the magazine underneath the mag well this is a five round magazine like I said it fires the amazing 50 caliber round you could uh, reach out touch someone from a mile away and blow apart half of his body it's just one of those rounds that's really devastating punches straight through a car engine block which is what it's uh, probably originally designed for if I remember correctly um, but it just it blows through people absolutely obliterates them and uh, this is a precision sniper rifle so you're gonna start hitting people with this thing and you're just gonna watch them be blown apart uh, moving on to probably the most visually appealing part of this entire model this is the front handguard these black two by four smooth tile rectangles that you see here the one highlighted in blue those are air vents yep air vents the black cir or the uh, dark gray circles are like kind of a bolt type accent and then the black circle here is also a bolt type accent now then why this works like it does is because of just how interesting the inside of this is as you can see it's these type pieces which is uh, these type pieces and it just looks absolutely great I love it and um, it just you can't really beat it guys one of the best things in the world um, right here as you can see oh, wow zoomed in way too far on the actual slope part you have a small little rail system and a lot of you are probably asking why the hell is that there whoever mounts a scope like a uh, diagonal well it's not really mounting or it's not really supposed to be mounted a scope on there you would probably put a red dot sight on there uh, just a small little red dot or something so that if your scope ever fails you could uh, just switch over or if you get into very close range in quarter or close quarters combat and uh, you just don't have enough time to switch to your secondary you have a sight you just tilt the gun slightly to make it so that it's straight with your sight and you'll be fine um, so as you can see there is a crap ton of air vents on this thing um, geez 8 12 there's 13 and then 13 on the other side so there's 26 air vents on this front grip here it's got this absolutely splendid octagon style to it uh, as you can see there's a full top rail for mounting your night vision optics there's a side rail for mounting any type of laser or tack light you might need I doubt you would need a tack light but you never know uh, there's a bottom rail to mount any type of maybe foregrip 
Uh, maybe if you want to get a vertical foregrip or if you want to mount a bipod which will help with your shooting. Uh, maybe even a tripod or a monopod. Um, so this this forend is absolutely sexy to look at. I absolutely love it. It's modeled after the uh, MSR one. Hey. What? Today. Today like just 30 minutes ago. Okay. Oh my fucking god, I hate my dad. Whatever. You guys know. Um, whatever. I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna cut it out. Just don't I'm not even gonna worry about. Um What was I gonna say? Whatever. Just bear with me guys, ignore that. Um anyhow. Uh completely lost my place but whatever moving on to the barrel so like I said the barrel moves back and forth as a recoil mitigation type thing it'll push the bolt back and cycle the bolt as well it works just like the Barrett system does in fact it's probably copied off the Barrett system uh, it's not an actual firearm in the world so I wouldn't really know but I kinda really wish it was because it looks so cool so if you guys can uh like, if you guys even know someone who, like, makes firearms or something, you know, custom firearms, show them a picture of this and see if they can't make it, because it's fucking awesome. Like, just look at it and tell me it doesn't look amazing. Uh, as you can see, I forgot to mention the huge-ass muzzle brake on it. Uh, kind of modeled after the Ballista's muzzle brake from Black Ops 2. Uh, the front forend here is modeled after the MSR and the RSAS from Remington and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it in terms of modeling this side is completely symmetrical besides the bolt and charging handle being absent and uh, it is a removable magazine working charging handle and bolt and a working trigger uh, so it's a completely Pretty much, you could play with the model, honestly. Uh, I probably wouldn't walk out in the public with it because I don't want to get shot by any cops or anything. But it would be a really cool model to have in real life. And it would probably look really good if someone brought it to life it w as an actual shooting weapon. So if you guys know anyone who can take any type of weapon and make it into just like a custom one, have them take a Barrett M107 sniper rifle and turn it into this because that would be super awesome and it would look great. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I like you guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.